Alrighty guys, welcome to a new video. Today as you can see we're playing some Grey's Jungle once again. I'm going to be showing you guys what I'm doing on patch 14.2 so far. And as always it's going to be gameplay plus thoughts about the patch, meta, that kind of stuff. As always if you enjoy the content make sure to like, subscribe, comment. It helps out with the algorithm. Also allows you to see more of this type of content from myself and other creators. So if you liked it, it should be pretty beneficial for you. This game we're going to be looking for red and actually, like in all honesty, I'm looking to just go top level 2. This is a pretty rare play, but I think it should actually work. Fight him? Fight him? Oh. I shot at the creep. Not ideal. What? Surely we just kill this guy. This is a terrorist, man. Yes, there we go. Excellent stuff. Wouldn't normally go for this gank, by the way, but I just think that if I don't like stop this guy from crashing three waves into then proxying, it's gonna be a big issue for my Kale. So uh, I am behind on the clear, but I don't mind too much. And actually, pretty fortunate, Bri has not punished me at all. In a high elo game, I probably wouldn't have gone for that play, but I think in lower elo, it's fine. Also, in low elo, people are just prone to make such disgusting lane mistakes like that. Um, that guy's walking back into me for what reason? You know, God only knows. Um, beautiful. We're gonna go two points Q this game and opt into the full clear now. Then. We will duck down, do the crab, and we'll play for um, topside camp slash taking at least one void grub. I don't really care about getting all three void grubs. It is nice if you can get all three, but you know, really just getting one is kind of the shit um, for the XP. It seems to be pretty nice juicer on the XP front, uh, even in patch 14.2. Although, I'm not going to lie, most games I'm actually getting all three of the first three. And then like choosing to give the second three or like get one of the second three, one, two, depending on the game. But I don't think you need to get all six of them like we're previously thinking at start of last patch. Especially if there's other options up on the map, like you know, taking a good invade, getting good dragons. I think these things are really valuable. Um even sometimes just taking the gank while they have to muck around doing the objective can be a play. I don't want to go for this game because I want to get back on the map with items. Right, I'm just going to drop my ward out before I base. Boom, boom. And then I'm going to move up towards the top side. I'm going to start pinging also that Bri is back on our bot side camps. Guys, always want to be thinking about where the enemy jungler is. Jungle tracking is key. Sorry, I was drinking. So this Briar has wasted a metric shit ton of time to not be back on the bot side right now. Um, and that's going to be a huge benefit for me because now I have access to these grubs. Right. Well, she either has to take the base or try and fight this fight without any prior because she has no items. So I'm going to look for this and drop that ward there. I'm going to pull them out. Alright, there's one secured. I am doing this a little bit awkwardly because of just how I'm positioned here. But it is looking like it's chilling. Nice, that's that. Duck around here, there should be kills too. Flash. Can't see this Briar is just really struggling right here. We're just going straight into this invade. 
Even if Briar comes, I'm pretty happy to take this skirmish. Although she has got level 5 now, she was level 4 before, so that was definitely making the skirmish uh, look a bit better on my side. But the other thing is, I just have um, red stacked guys, and that makes me more inclined to take this fight. She is having to hold mid waves, which, you know, we could have speculated was going to be the play, but in all honesty, she could have also just dropped them. I did think that also. Nice stuff. So, got a two camp lead on her there. I'm going to take the reset here instantly, and I'm actually going to be going for... I think I could snowball, so I'm going to go Hubris first this game, guys. Um, now, I'd only recommend the Hubris first if you really are convinced you're going to snowball, and it's like high risk, high reward. The other thing is, when you go Hubris, you lose out on some of that tempo, so that does slow down the snowball. So you have to uh, really think about how you think the fight's going to play out. If there's something that's like maybe more advanced, I would say. Probably for most of you who are like not putting that much thought into it, just go Yomos. Because it's going to open up so many more opportunities to you, and you will be able to snowball better off the back of that. If you are seeing the game at a deeper level and then executing on it properly, I think that hubris first when you're ahead can be pretty nice. Getting those stacks, you know, three, four minutes earlier. Also, if anyone wondering too, um, ELO is going to be about high gold, low plat. Um, and also, if people are asking for diamond content, we're going to go out of my way to record a bunch of diamond content and put up um, where he split up in members area. I don't know. Depends like how useful it is to people, but I mean, I don't really think it's that useful. But I can go out of my way to record more content when I'm playing on my, um, you know, high reload accounts. And that way I can avoid leaking names of uh, accounts that are more valuable. And also, yeah, I just don't think everyone should watch diamond content, I'm not gonna lie. I think that just about 90% of uh, people watching this channel should not watch diamond content based off ELO polls that I've run in the past. I'm just looking for the reset here, although I do want to take this since it's up. Raya has to be around somewhere. The issue is, just no fucking idea where she is right now. Okay. It's nice. It's one. Oh, okay. play just did not turn out well. Yeah, we got this. That's cool. I mean, it was 5-4, to be honest, so should put some respect on that. Also, guys, there's a bug on this patch, or at least on us, or for me, I don't know, but Void Grub's second spawn doesn't show, like, you know, the countdown timer. Don't know why, um, but that is something to keep in mind, so you do need to actually keep track of it. That's why we're running straight top here. We're gonna get here, and if it didn't show them the uh, track two, I don't know if that's the case, but if it didn't show them, I'd actually expect very low likelihood that this gets invaded. Um, but again, I just don't know what the deal is with it right now, so I take it as though they do know. champ down at least okay brother
Where she's going, I want to contest this. She should die here. Nice. She kill us too. Beautiful stuff there, guys. Nice. We instantly reset here, guys. Get our health back. You can see the stack started coming on Hubris. So base here, run straight bot. And, um, you know, in all honesty, I'm going to go with this here. And the reason for that earlier boots with the Hubris that I like is you get that move speed that you're missing out on with no Yomos, right? And now here I have the choice of going into Yomos, but I'm actually feeling like going Collector this game. And so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go Collector into Opportunity and just fully skip the Yomos this game. Um, I haven't actually tried this fully, but... I am thinking that's going to work. Um, obviously, you need to feel the feel for it. You are going to miss out on that active, so that does suck. Well, I'm thinking that it's going to be nice. I'm going to lie to you guys. Can I get here? No. Thanks. Ordered. What? Nice, should be dead. Beautiful, should be both kills. No? Really? We'll take those. We'll take those. Um, what did I say I was going to do? Collector, that's right. The only sad part there is I don't get the... It is what it is. Yeah, anyway, Israel's coming in, so I kind of wanted to take that play. If Caitlyn shut down, burnt all of their sums, so really big play, um, all things considered, but not the greatest with the gold sharing because obviously I'm getting shut down by Caitlyn and then I'm not getting Caitlyn shut down. And me and Caitlyn are probably the two best players in this game. Um, at least it seems so. Also, there's like some pretty OP Kalen builds right now, so you know, that is a little bit of a worry. I speculate that I'm not going to see the Kalen build in this game, but these two could both actually be smurfing. Wouldn't be that crazy if they're both smurfing, smurfing to be honest. I do want to start getting these drags, but obviously... Um, with hard losing bot lane, getting drags is not the easiest thing in the world. Um, but I'm thinking that we might have the opportunity here. Oh, this is not looking ideal anymore. This is looking like I am in a fucked position. But what I'm thinking here is I sneak this. Nice. The reason I was delaying that for Smite Setter is just because I wanted to try and make sure that I actually got out. Alright, there's two low players here. I do think of the little cleanup crew action is needed. But they're probably expecting that I based it. <laughs> hello, hello, you little gremlin. Beautiful. Okay. <laughs> Interesting, man. So Kate and Yumi were coming there. Firstly. Secondly, what the fuck was that heal, cunt? I don't even know if that was... I think that was the real heal. I think that's just how much she's able to heal. I don't think that was part of the bug with W or anything like that. I can't exactly remember how the fight went. What the fuck, man? That's so insane. That's so insane. 
I mean, the bigger issue just is that Kate Yumi showed up to her at back to bot. Um, no idea why. Maybe they had a ward somewhere, like fucking keep lurking around in the JG. I don't know because I would suspect that they should be going like mid top, except they've already taken bot tower. If they're just noobs that are walking back bot, I really don't know what the play was there, but it worked sadly. What's that? These two are fucking just really bad compared to the enemies, man. This is the second time I'm like burning all their songs. Somehow Ezreal died. What the fuck? I guess I am going to try to save mid here. We need to get this base off, I think. I mean, the Collector is going to help a lot to uh, kill this Caitlyn. We wonder though how much I am being negatively impacted by not having the Yomas. I think it needs more testing. I'm not necessarily saying run this build every game, guys, but I do think this build does have a place in some of the games you're playing. So you can give it some thought. Like, I expect here yeah, when I fight someone, they basically just perish. Dead. I am thinking maybe Caitlyn and Yumi try to go for this Ezreal on Rome. So if I can get in a bush, yeah, I can kind of like do something there. Go back mid. Hard game, man. Hard game. Would love to sit in a bush and just like see if I could pick the Vex, but uh, not the Vex, but I mean the Bri, but I just don't think I can. Is walking and sweeper up. An ally has been slain. An enemy has been slain. I don't want to um give my red ASAP if I don't have to, just so that I can give everyone the red. Better off just waiting a second. Especially with how many range champions I have. So what I'm gonna do here is kind of do these camps into maybe reset back to red, or maybe try and rush drag. Two. Kate's top, so I'm gonna try and rush drag here. I think bot is getting altered. Nope. She tried to go for the Ezreal, that's crazy. It's really bad by the way, because Ezreal's like one of the only people other than myself with a dash. Um and Ezreal is a blink too, so even worse. Um trying to shoot for him. Yeah, pretty sus by her, but we kinda like that. I'm not gonna complain. Nice, good shit for the Nico. Big. This could be big too. Not quiet. Looks like that guy's going DD or GA here. Both are fine options. I cannot believe, by the way, guys, that we are equal. I'm up like 10 camps on her right now. And we're equal in XP. Such a feels bad. And I'm up also two boy grubs, two drags. But yeah. That's what it is. This is such a stupid play. It's so 50-50. I hate whoever called this shit. This is so trash. 
Okay. Oh, we're all getting off. I'm muting whoever's pings. That was. That's fucking disgusting. Who could have seen that coming, man? Who could have seen it? Especially also because we walked over a ward. Watered, obviously. Wait, it's not watered? Bruh. This guy should die here. Ah, yeah, it's Ghost. And. Of course. Can't kill, so it's no point. Ended up going too deep and died. Try a trade out of it's not the worst thing in the world. Pretty sure that Briar's red comes up. Um, it's in the next minute. Wait a second, is Yumi walking here? Apparently not. I do need to actually go and mute all that pink, by the way. It was atrocious. In time. I think they go super deep. Damn out. Okay. Great that. Um, using a lot of resources on this singed, and he's already inting, so not really a fan of this, but. Really know how I'm gonna communicate that to my players. Shut down. Damn. Blue trinket. Kill this. I like how my teammates are um the objectives. I've missed a single one. We're really on point with the objectives of this game, so I definitely don't think that's what they should be focusing on. Oh, what an Ezreal build. Try to haven't muted this shit yet. Ah, she flashed. It's like it wasn't even bad if it actually went onto her. Should just like bar him and die smoke screen. That's what it is, though. Should really expect her to play a champ that well. Look at this, man. Just burst it. Yeah. Okay, not too bad. What's Kale wants to slip push? No, I should have a recall from a uh, pop lane, but anyway. Oh nice, there's the ghost again. Let's 
This guy is just such a fucking waste of gold and XP, man. That's what I hate about these like level 16 champs. They're just so they're so bad always in low ranks. Because they know that they're playing them for like the reason of oh I'm just gonna do nothing basically. And like hope that my champion gets to Exodia status and then you know like I barely play the game but my champ's the best kind of deal. Yikes is a bit of an issue. Ugh, got the R on me. Damn. What's going on down here? Are we winning? Battle by Kale though, won't lie. We are winning. Hasn't really been that many kills in this game, by the way, guys. I'll probably note here. Very low kills. <clears throat> Not that much value on the hubris, but also even less value if we didn't get a first item. So look at that two ways, you know, kind of whichever way you desire. Beautiful. Also beautiful. We do have the Baron up, which is the only thing that we have to kind of think about right now. Um, that the enemies want to do. Obviously, I haven't taken a base yet, and that's going to be pretty crucial, but the other perspective, you know... I don't want to maximize time on the map right now. Okay, that's pretty big. If we can hit that, that'd be kind of sick. Obviously, they see me basing, so I have to be really quick here. I went with the elixir over the longsword because it's just a little bit stronger. Nice. This could be the play, actually, for Baron. I'm kind of smelling it. Actually, no, 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 don't do it. Just realized it was useless. I really can't do it without Kale. My Ezra doesn't have a build that does um, Baron. Any reasonable amount of speed at this point. We're kind of just waiting right now for Kale to respawn. We have a really big threat in um, Dragon Soul here. I want to be careful not to waste any smite stacks right now. Done. Didn't really do it here, man. What's this is like painful experience, bro. What I'm hoping is I can catch the Bri here by myself. Me, man. I should catch it. <laughs> Look at that fling. Okay. Oh. Wait, what? Kale die with hold up again? Yikes, bro. I guess Kate drops back, takes um, drag here. My theory. Kill the fucking little thing of bobs. Wait, Ezreal R maybe? On the Singed? <coughs> There's R. There's R Panther. Oh my days, let's fucking go. And we kill the Singed. And we maybe kill Kate here too. With uh, any luck. 
talent, maybe. But we don't. No, we do not. Nope, 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 nope. Silly I am. What the? Alright, well we do have one thing going for us here, which is the Dragon Soul. And this hopefully I can translate into potentially stopping them from getting the Baron. Oh, that was really well timed. I don't know if that's insane luck or what. Why am I ulted right now? Whatever, man. Crazy. Hopefully we can get this shit. We should be able to get the open inhib too. Isn't it crazy that I am the one who got us open inhibs, by the way? We couldn't dodge that, really? I deal so much damage right now, holy shit. It's a little bit nutty actually. What are you doing, bro? Rise? No. Do I be? I don't want us to like fight and die. I think we just wait, chill, wait for KL ult. I get KL ult, I just 1v9. 501 AD. Could go BT here, it would be a huge injection, but I honestly think that if I die, it's game over. What I'm actually thinking here is I go GA. Um, I really don't want to go GA here. I really want to go Shield Bow here, but I honestly think it's such a one-man show that if I die, we instantly lose the game. So now what I'm hoping with the GA is, is that if I'm with Kale and she doesn't ult quick enough, right, I get GA prop and then she spams R on my dome. I respawn. The only issue with GA is that Caitlyn is a pretty good counter to GA and Zonya's, and that's definitely an issue. This Caitlyn's played pretty well. Holy shit, that's a fucking TP, bro. What the fuck is going on there? Oh my god, she's ghosting. Ah, oh, fuck me. It's fine. I thought I'd just maybe nick it. But I didn't account for ghost. That really sucks, actually. Don't try and end it, I think. Let's go get that. Been a nice play. I am gonna obviously fucking murked by that shit, but anyway. I hate late. I hate like. We should just do ping that I said or have stayed, you know, one of the two. I, I don't think this works by my team. That being said, um, we sell this one here, pick up a mortal shield, but it's not a bad play. We will kind of take this. If I had flash that too, by the way, guys, I would have actually done it, which is kind of insane to think about. It's going hard. Yumi used this. This is also down. The more. I think that was a pretty big mistake by him. Not gonna lie. I'm just gonna wait 14 seconds. Uh, trying to. Dragon spawning, as you guys can see, still bugged, by the way, with the, um, you know, with the spawn timers, like, I don't know if this is just me, but it's not just me, it's a pretty big deal, um, to have these bugs, because a lot of people aren't really gonna realize that, you know, these objectives are spawning. Um, boom. So, pretty much, we should just be able to yoink this, and then it's GG. One thing we do have to keep in mind, though, is this guy is gonna probably want to try and contest this. 
Oh, please. Why am I nearly dead? No shield, though. Is there any rocks up, maybe? Oh, yes. Beautiful. And a cash money. Now let's try and make it so our teammates do not die here for no reason before me and Ezreal get to the uh, skirmishes. Obviously I need to take that camp where I can get here so that I have health. This is, not, this is like not good, by the way. Kale is one of the players that we actually need. Holy fuck, bro. that's so fucking trash. Oh, she didn't die. Anyway, we should end. Anyway, this is low elo, right? So it is what we should expect. Hot normal so elo. So playing really early in the morning in Australia, so probably everyone's tired as fuck too. So yeah, big issues. Um, that's gonna be it for today though. As always, guys, if you like the content, make sure to like, subscribe, comment, helps out with the YouTube algorithm. Also, if you would like to improve your gameplay, check out the coaching coachmiger.com. And again, if you're on the high elo content, it's probably gonna be up in the members area on my YouTube channel. Just because, you know, I don't know. I don't really have anywhere else to put it that I think is a good place to put it. Um, all right. This is the runes that we took. These are the uh, stats. T high damage per minute. I would probably not have gone this build if I ran this game again, not going to lie. I would have really liked Yomos to get better spacing on the Caitlyn. And um, Caitlyn and Yumi, I think, were both smurfing. So, you know, it does make the game a little bit more difficult. And I actually probably think they're, like, likely to be dual key smurfing too. Uh, Gonna quickly check as long as it loads. Da, da, da. Yes, they are. Yeah, that's that. Alright, guys, that's it for today. Take care, good luck on Rift, and peace out.